it. Hello, YouTubers. Hey, I got an idea here for uh, if you own a air hockey table and it is just not, uh, the puck is not going over the surface smoothly, I have a fix for you that I think will be very, very helpful. All right? So first off, I want to do a few tests. Uh, the first test, you're not going to really, I'm just going to feel, right? So on this side, I can actually feel air coming out. When I go to this side, I feel nothing, all right? And I'll show it what happens when I put a puck across this, if I can find my puck. So watch what happens when I uh, start my puck on this side. It's nice, 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 stops. I'll try it again. Nice. stops. Alright, there's more air on the right side than there is on the left side. Okay, now I'm going to do one last test which will really uh, prove my point. Yeah. Alright, so here's a third and final test. I call it the sheet test. Take a look. On the right side, the air is blowing really strong. On the left side, nothing. So what did I do, what have I done to make the right side so much more superior than the left side? All right? Well, I'm going to show you the trick. All right. First of all, I'm going to show you a few things that I've watched on other videos and other people have told me uh, of ways to improve your table that I found unsuccessful. Uh, the first way is just get a shot back and suck out these holes. Alright, I tried that. It didn't work. Okay. Uh, another solution I've heard about is, you know, just get bigger fans. Alright, so underneath here I have two fans. And, you know, they're only about this big around. You know, they're nothing substantial. So I thought, okay, well maybe if I just got bigger fans. So I went online, and I have to say that bigger fans are not cheap. You're going to have to spend a lot of money and go through, you know, some work to, for that solution. I have a way better solution. Another solution I've heard about is, hey, just take, uh, this, just take some wax to this surface and make the surface really, really smooth. That'll make your putt go better. Well, you don't want to do that because what's going to happen is if you use wax, it's going to, the wax is going to get inside of these holes and clog them and make a worse problem. Okay? So your problem is not the smoothness of the surface. Your problem is the wind, the air pressure coming out of these holes. All right? So here's the first thing you want to do. First thing you want to do is make sure, this sounds really simple, but it's a big deal. Make sure that your puck is on the right side. So for example, on my puck, I don't know if you can see that, on one side I have these four dots, and on the other side I have nothing. Okay? So watch what happens. If I put the four dots up, I'm putting the four dots up, it's really, really smooth. If I put the four dots down, of course, it's not going to participate. It's not going to cooperate for me now. Leave it on this side. Well, look at that. Mine is so smooth it doesn't even matter. But I'm telling you, that's crazy because it was just cooperating. Make sure that you're... Just trust me. <laughs> Test totally failed, but just trust me. It, it, it's smoother if the dots are up. I don't know what your pucks look like. It might have different symbols. But just experiment and figure out which side is better. All right? So that's step one. Step two. All right? So you want to check these holes. So I don't know if we can get a shot of these holes. You're, you're not going to be able to really see. But if you look closely at these holes, you'll notice that they are not fully open. Okay? They are clogged with 
debris. Could be dust, could be whatever. But they are not fully open. All right, so here's the solution that I found really works, okay? It involves a drill, okay? Now this drill bit is 1 16th in diameter. Make sure it's a 1 16th inch drill bit, okay? At least that's what works for my table. Maybe your table is different. Uh, but these are the whole size is probably pretty standard across the industry Okay, so get yourself a drill 1 16th inch drill bit and Watch what happens as I do this Make sure that you drill straight right you don't want to drill crooked because then you're gonna get oblong holes Okay, if you drill straight Look at that. That is dust from probably years of sitting out, which tells you something. Always cover your table when you're not using it. Do not let it just sit out. Otherwise, dust will get inside of these holes and you're gonna have to go, and it's gonna take a while. So there's like a hundred rows of these little holes. So what I'm doing, is each day I'm coming out and I'm doing seven rows. All right, so I figure, I don't know how many days that's gonna take, maybe 10, 15 days. All right after a couple of weeks, I'm gonna have this entire thing drilled out. I've already done this to this side over here. I have not done it to this side over here. And you saw the difference between the two sides. It was night and day, okay? One thing that's very, very important, don't miss this. It's extremely important that when you do this, you have your unit turned on. If you don't have it turned on, this dust is gonna, it's gonna blow back inside of the holes, right? These drills, right, they blow air, right? It's just gonna blow right back inside of your holes and you're gonna start all over. Make sure that this is on so the air is blowing out, right, so it won't get back in. Okay, once you get however much you want to drill, go ahead and get your get a shot back or just a vacuum cleaner will work. Turn it on and I like to vacuum not only this area here, but I like to vacuum the entire vicinity. Okay, because chances are some of this got blown various places, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum that up. I just did is right in here, right? See that? Now over here, watch. It's night and day. Is it a bit of a pain? Yes. It's a it's you know it takes a little bit of time. But I have not seen anything else that works better for getting this air hockey to function properly, all right? And uh, like, oh, one other thing, when you are drilling, make sure you are drilling in the counter, or excuse me, in the clockwise direction, in the tightening direction, okay? By doing that, the dust that's in there will actually come up and out. If you do it in the loosening or counterclockwise direction, 
it'll push the stuff down in there and then it might get blown back through the holes. All right. Um, oh, for the edges. For these edges right here. Right, I can't really get it with my drill, right? It's not fitting. Okay, so what you can do is you can either get a longer drill bit or if you're like me, you don't want to go through all that bother. And make sure that make sure that thing's drilling straight and not all cocky wise. Alright, so now I can now I can reach that. Alright? And so what I did is with the drill out like this, I went around the entire perimeter um, so that I didn't have to do this again. Okay? So, and again, remember when you're not using your table, make sure you cover it. Alright? So that the dust will stay out and you will enjoy many, many years of fun, entertaining air hockey. I hope this video is, was helpful to you, um, and I hope you enjoy your air hockey table even more than you already are. God bless.